hoy tenemos un café cubano especial con Víctor Bernicos, representante de Grecia para Eurovisión. Hi Víctor, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you, man? And um, I don't know if you are uh, prepared for Eurovision, but you are the youngest one in this festival with only 16 years. Uh, how do you feel to be the, the youngest? Correct. Yeah, yeah. I feel I feel really, really, really great. I'm I'm so excited to be the youngest performing this year, youngest ever for my for Greece ever uh, too. So it's really it's really great experience, and I hope I can impress people as much as possible to and show my abilities and also to inspire other people who might be as young as me or believe that they can't do something in general to, to inspire them to do something along the lines of that you know a lot of people say that 16 year old can't do it and uh, i want to try to inspire people to do things that people tell them they can't when do you realize that you want to go to eurovision i realized that i wanted to go to eurovision and i made it a goal when i heard uh, our last year's representative song with amanda tenfure and i together it was one it was probably my favorite song of the of the competition last year one of one of my favorites for sure uh and, and yeah that's what inspired me to make it a goal i mean going to your vision has always been a dream for me i've loved the contest and it's always been in the back of my head as something oh I'm, that would be so cool and but it became a goal last year and uh, i tried for it uh your song what they say it's now uh, more than 1300,000 uh, listeners in spotify yeah It's quite a difference with the other ones. What, how do you are living this moment of the recognition in Europe? Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy. I'm, I'm really glad people are liking the song and that they're listening to it and streaming it. It's, it's, it's really a great experience. What do you want to transmit with the song? Uh, I want to uh, what what the song is is an yeah. expression. Yeah of my emotions and stuff so I, I want it, I want the song to be a place where people can go and express themselves uh, and, and release themselves off, off of some emotions that they may had uh, may have had I wrote the uh, song because of an experience I had with anxiety and overwhelmingness and uh, hopefully I can help people express that for themselves too and uh, just inspire them also to express themselves another way like I do it through a song somebody else might do it from painting or exercising or anything uh, it's just a, it, what it symbolizes is Express yourself. From, bueno, desde Grecia nos ha llegado la, la polémica con la preselección de la, que realizó la RT y la denuncia de, de Melissa. ¿Cómo viviste la situación? Uh, so, well, Mark is, wants to know that uh, recently we heard the news that there was a, bit, a little bit of a polemic in the selection of the songs or the artists and he wants to know how about how did you feel that how how was that to experience that that had nothing to do with me i mean i was i submitted my song and i let the 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 um the process go as the process went i mean um i i, I submitted my song i got down to the seven got down to the three i met with the people here and i got selected finally i i and i think it's behind us i think it's in the past i think there's many reasons why that might have happened uh and uh, i just don't think it's my place to, to speak on it I, i did what i have to do as an artist and uh, i'm going to eurovision you were afraid to uh, greece to get out of eurovision with these uh, problems or no no not at all no it, it wasn't it's not as big as it might have seemed okay and um, how do you are preparing for this uh your uh Eurovision at Liverpool. I am rehearsing as much as possible. I'm a big fan of rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing. So I'm trying to do the thing 22 times per day. I'm trying to be able to have done it 1000 times until the first of May. I'm rehearsing as, as many times as possible for the song to be able to polish it off and get to the, really into the details uh, of the song and try to really express it on stage correctly and try to get my emotion out and the, my energy to the to the crowd. So getting myself in correct vocal shape and physical shape that's that's what i'm focusing on it's been like uh, 20 years from the win of greece in eurovision with yeah. elena uh, do you feel that um that the television of big uh, following the right steps to repeat this um, victory what do you mean by that the, the uh, if you feel that it's um que está cerca la victoria de Grecia con la estrategia de, de la televisión. 
So he he wants to know if you think Greece is closer to victory um, due to the strategy, like publicity strategy that the television is using. Right. We're, I believe that we all try the best each year. I'm, I'm sure that ERT tries its best every every year and I'm here to try my best as well. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get a great result. Greece, uh, the last two years, finishing the top 10 with yeah. uh, your favorite song and also we yeah. <laughs> in 2021. Do you feel the pressure to repeat this top 10 finish? And... No, not really. I don't, I don't feel pressure. Uh, I, I'm just focusing on doing the best that I can and, and doing the best, getting the best possible result. I'm focusing more on the, uh, I'm focusing on what I have in control. So what I control is the performance and the song. So. I'm making sure I do everything to the best of my abilities and make sure that I really make the best performance possible in Eurovision. Uh, and then it's up to the crowd. Who's your team for this <coughs> sorry, for this uh, Eurovision? Your team behind you and on behalf of you to, to arrive to the yeah. festival. We're, we're working with uh, the like, a guy called Costadinos Rigos, uh, who is the head of the uh, uh, ballet and operatic scene here in, uh, in in Greece and he's the, the National Opera sorry he's head of ballet at the National Opera here in Greece uh, and it's he's a very good director he's the director that was working with us we're really trying to put something very nice together both digitally lighting wise and, and really expressing the song to the greatest extent to the purest extent on stage and I think we're going to have something really great to show in Liverpool you can uh, give give us a, a piece of uh, information for the the western scene the the, um, the performance the performance yeah All right so what we're pre preparing is that my song goes through different phases so my song starts a little bit esoteric and a little bit like i'm i'm, I'm just talking to myself and i'm a little bit close a little bit insecure a little bit overwhelmed it's that feeling of anxiety uh and then it starts giving it out more and more into the public uh and in the end there's this big break of screaming it out and giving it to the people and that's what we're trying to express so we're trying to take all those phases and and capture them emotionally and give that energy off to the crowd and 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 to me it's going to be a performance of, of it's going to be a performance of expression we're not trying to do anything fancy we're trying to do what expresses the song and we feel that that's how the energy is going to be given onto the crowd in the best extent this year, the semi-final will be voted only for the the, the public. Uh, yep. How do you think this will change the the semi-final and go the way that it yeah. goes? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that uh, juries and people might have different opinions. I don't know which ones they are because, I mean, we've been surprised in the past because Eurovision is, is quite it's quite different every year. Yeah. Uh, and, and you know culture moves on and uh, and the way people are selected and what juries that are actually come are, are different each year and how people are feeling uh, but I'm I'm excited I'm just as excited as everyone I really want to see what the what the difference might be connected to the past years and I'm just I'm hoping for the best either way I'm gonna get on the stage and do the best possible and also people outside of Europe uh, will be will be voting yes. uh... that's one of the most exciting things that I heard it's, it's gonna it's, it's amazing and I'm so glad Eurovision is opening up for voting wise as well to, to more and more people talking about uh, your rivals uh, the other songs on the festival did you follow the yep. precision and the national finalist in other countries yeah, yeah, for sure. I've, I've seen a lot of the uh, national finals and I mean, I saw Estonia's, I saw Sweden's, I saw, I saw a lot of them. They, they were very, uh, yeah, they're very interesting in general. They were a lot of fun, just like Eurovision is. Did you have the, the opportunity to, to meet with uh, someone? I've, I've spoken to, to, to a lot of them. I, I never went to a national final, but I watched it. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. I've, I've spoken to a lot of the representatives from from many countries this year, so it's, it's been great. We go to another, uh, our someone, Euro Party in Europe, like the London Euro Party or yeah. Italy Scotland is, was yesterday, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the one in, no, yeah, you're right. It was yesterday. Well, how, what, what did you want to go with uh, the other ones in London or Amsterdam? Will you go there? If I'm going to be going? Yeah. 
we are I'm not sure if I'm going to be going yet. I, it's something that would be a great experience for me. We're just thinking about what would be best for the Eurovision performance as well. If it, would, <laughs> if it would be best that I went or if it would be best that we leave everything up to the Eurovision stage and keep people thinking about uh, what might be happening up on the stage and, and gather that little bit of hype. And what's your favorite song in... instead of what, what they say? Also, uh, already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course it's what they say, it's my favorite. Right? <laughs> no, uh, there's there's a lot of really, really great ones. I like Spain's, by the way. Eh? It's really it's really cool. I, I love her voice. I love her back as well. I've actually spoken to her. Eh? And uh, how was the meeting? Very, she's very sweet. She's very, very, very sweet. Yeah, yeah. You guys have a great representative this year. So I'm, I'm, We are I'm, so proud of Black Capaloma. Yeah, she, she's amazing. I, I'm really uh, looking forward to meeting her as well. Uh, Yeah, dude, I, I like a lot of the songs this year. I'm, ju I'm just so happy that so many beautiful songs are coming to to Europe and so many different songs. There's like a wide variety of songs this year. And I, I think the lineup is really, really interesting compared to other Eurovision years as well. Like, it's really nice. But I couldn't pick out one as a favorite. It's just, I I, 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 I couldn't pick from, from, from all of them. There, there's so many nice ones. Maybe a top five? To Ooh. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this, Czechia's, Czechia's chorus, it, the one from Czechia, it, the, the, the chorus is very, very interesting to me. Yeah. I've, I've been saying it a lot. Czechia's chorus is very, very interesting, but I'm, I'm interested on in how they're going to do it on stage as well. I mean, nothing matters until the night because on the night, that's where you see how the performance is done, how the song is done, and that's what everybody votes for. Uh, but Czechia's song is really, really, really powerful, and, and I think it's I think it's, inter it's it's like something that I haven't heard before in your vision, so... Thumbs up from me. Uh, this year, the the press uh, cannot be in the press conference uh, yeah. viewing the the rehearsals. Do you think that this will affect the la repercusión, the repercussion of the songs during these uh, two weeks uh, previous to the May final? Maybe I I don't know if it's going to be a good thing for the artists in general or a bad thing. For me, I I don't I wouldn't mind if the press was there or if it wasn't there. Uh, for for others, you know, the press could might have put too much pressure on them, and they wouldn't be able to get good rehearsals down. Or that if they didn't have the press there, they would get the pressure on the night, and then they wouldn't, and and it still wouldn't be good. But uh, I don't know. I'm I'm hoping. Uh, that it's the best for everyone and I hope we get some really good performances this year and people vote on on good performances you know I wish the best for everybody what do you think that it's your um, most rival in your semi-final what song will, well, will, you, will you bite for the votes of the public in your semi-final sorry what do you mean so ah, well, he wants to know in yeah. semi-finals who do you think is the strongest contestant against you oh okay I don't know, because because the, 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 all the songs are so different. I mean, may, maybe the ballads are because maybe the mid tempo ballads are because they could be closer to my song, or I, I don't know. Maybe it's the ones that are similar that are the ones in general that uh, that fight you the most. But um, I'm uh, again, I'm just focusing on uh, doing the best possible, and I really hope we go through. Uh, talking about ballads, uh, the change yeah. of the uh, voting procedure in the semi-final will affect this one because we saw in last year uh, the song of uh, yeah. um, Switzerland that uh, received zero points, I think, for the public. And also in 2028, no, 2021, uh, the song of Belgium passed to the final thanks for the jury vote. Right. Will that affect the, the ballads? Uh, Get right. harder to pass to the final maybe yeah i know that, that's what people are thinking i mean that could be something but as i said before i mean the juries could change their minds now i mean like if you don't know i mean the the public could change their mind i mean now that the jury votes aren't there maybe the public that knows about that is going to be like okay let me not just vote for the other ones because i know that the jury is going to vote for those ones let me vote for the ballots as well like it could it could play a psychological game that we don't know about yet but um i'm and and i don't consider my song a ballad either it's 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 it has a very emotional and atmospheric like feel to it but it's also very energetic so i i don't know where i would place my song on the ballad to dance scale somewhere in the middle uh but i'm, I'm just excited to go and see what happens like this is a learning curve for all of us because it's also it's not just the vote uh, the 
the public voting only. It's also going to be all the other countries voting as well. So we don't know how that's going to affect the votes as well. And people outside of Europe voting. So don't know. Let's see what happened in... Exactly, it's exciting. <laughs> 36 uh, days, I think it's uh, only for the Eurovision. Yeah. So to finish the, the interview, do you want to send a message to all our viewers and listeners? That, uh, to I would love you? to. How, how, do, how do I say I love you, Spain, in, in, in Spanish? Um, oh. Os quiero España. Os quiero España. And votad for, pa, por mí. And what? Votad por mí. To vote uh, with you, for you. Votad por mí. <laughs> Did I got it? I'm so bad in Spanish. Okay, I'm so, I'm so sorry. My message is to follow what you love. Don't let anybody doubt you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Don't let anybody doubt yourself. And I hope I can I inspire you. I hope you like my music. I hope you vote for us in Liverpool. I hope I impress you. And I hope uh, you can see my journey as something to inspire you and, and do things that other people don't tell you you can't do. Because that's something I've run into a few times. Um, yeah, just follow what you love to do. That's it. That's my message. So, Victor, we wish you the best in this uh, Eurovision Song Festival. Mark. We, we wish that you arrive to the final. And Thank you so much. I want to luck. say something. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say something before I go because I'm here just uh, to translate and I never watch uh, Eurovision. I'm not from Spain, yeah. actually. <laughs> and after this interview, I'm really looking forward to watch your performance. And Thank you so much. I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited for that. I'm, I'm yeah, really I'm really looking forward to that. And I will say that I will be voting for you. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. <laughs> no, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. Cheers. So, Victor, thanks for coming to the podcast and good luck. Thank you, Mark. Cheers. I wish you the best. <laughs>